Hey, this is Demon Driver here, and I'm testing the main retracts for my uh, Delta 767-200 uh, airliner. And um, I've installed mechanical retracts into this plane. Here is the retract servo right here. As you can see here, the retract, uh, mechanical retract leads here. When I originally designed this plane, I did design to eventually put retracts in it, but I designed it in a way where um, it was very awkward to actually put them in, and I kind of, I have them in, but they can't retract fully in because of this carbon fiber spar right here, this wing strut that runs through to form the A-frame inside the wing. So um, this is my first wide-body airliner. This is my first airliner I built with um, engines in the wing. So I think in doing so, I kind of forgot that I was eventually going to put retracts in. So here are the retract uh, mounting plates that I've added to the bottom. I'm going to add silver monaco to those soon. And as you can see, they're crooked forward like the 767 retracts. So let's go ahead and put these through a couple of cycles um, and just see how they're working. Get you guys situated here. Okay. I hope I don't knock the wing over because when they retract they See, they don't retract all the way up into the belly because of that spar. I might be able to get them to go up further in, but maybe another inch if so. But it's better than nothing. I mean, at least, you know, it's better than nothing. So, retracted, gears down. And I don't have the uh, EDFs mounted or the cowls mounted. I'm making new, I'm molding new cowls for the uh, 767. So I'm working on new, new EDF cowls. I'm going to mold them. So I'm, I'm going to start uh, working on those soon. Let's get you guys situated here. Okay, retracted and gears down. Yeah, they were pretty cool. They're not, I mean, I might have to put them on some kind of sequencer to slow them down a little bit to make them look a little bit more scale. But I've done the same thing on the 707, as you can see. I got the 707 there. So let's, uh, let's try this one more time. Get a little bit closer. Sorry for the crappy camera work here. I'm just kind of... I got my control in one hand, and I got the damn camera tripod in the other. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. That looks, looks pretty good. I like that. Eh, not bad. And there is the uh, serverless retract in the nose of the 767. I'm going to test that next. i got to make the uh, hole a little bit bigger. Got to make that, make that retract hole right up in there a little bit larger so once that's done but I've got the same style um, retract now on the Boeing 707 as you can see it has the same same retract style on that on that there so uh, it's a really good retract it's a really good uh, sir, sir, uh, Hey, the demon driver here. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to adjust the main mechanical retracts here to uh, work. I got my radio, my Futaba uh, 7C 2.4 radio. Okay, so what I got to do is I got to adjust the servo here, the main servo for the retract. Okay, I know that that's not working. So I got to go into the memory of the radio, and I have to kind of adjust the endpoint. So I go to channel 5, which is the retract. Okay. Hang on here. Hang on. Uh, it's not working out here. Okay. Alright, 
that's not doing what I want it to do. Uh, what are you doing to me? Son of a bitch. Okay, that's what I want. Unfortunately, because I designed this plane in a way, you know, like the 767, I wanted to put retracts into it, but sadly, the design, the way I designed the wing, again, there's another wing spar there, got in the way. Now, the L1011s, L1011s, the new MD-80, and all future airliners, the Convariant 80s and 990s that are coming up in the next month or two, and um, A300, new A300 that I'm building, they're not going to have this designed error that's inherent in this plane. Now, it does have mechanical retracts, so the wheels will come up to a degree. You know, they'll come up, you know, somewhat, as you can see. So, but I'm going to try and get them to come in a little bit further than that. Um, I had to make a uh, I had to make a little design change because of the fact that these landing gear were too long. Originally, they were just too long. It looked more like a DC-8, so I had to shorten the landing gear um, struts and make them smaller. Now I got to find out why this thing is acting up and this thing is not working the way I want it to. Mmm, it's a nightmare. Okay, I think I got them working. Now, of course, I got to get the wheels to go up further into the wing. Um, I got to clear out the wing, the wheel bay, the wheel truck bay out a little bit better. So that they can extend a little bit further up into the wing. I'm not going to get them all the way so they retract a hundred percent well that one's sticking a little bit but this is demon driver here and uh... so we're getting the retracts working on the 767 and the boeing 707 pan american short tail Alright guys, take care.